guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my favourite things of the moment and I'm also going to be talking to you guys a little bit of an update. So cue the long intro. Huh. I've been, I'm sorry I've been absent, I am promised I'm back, I love you all and thank you for getting to me to 100 subscribers and I'm at 122 and I love you guys and I don't care the fact that I'm not wearing any face makeup and my skin looks like shit, you can deal with that. So let's get on to the video. So first thing I'm going to be telling you guys is no makeup things that I like because I haven't been wearing makeup. So I have like literally the smallest amount of favorites at the moment. Well, skincare and stuff favorites because I do not wear a lot of makeup at the moment because my skin has been so bad that I haven't been able to wear makeup without, because my thing about makeup is if you don't have a good base, don't bother because you need to take care of your skin. And this is one of my holy grail products that I'm in love with. This is the Glow by Dr. Brand Ruby Crystal Retinol Hydra Cream. This stuff makes my skin glow like no tomorrow. The reason why my skin looks so glowy is because of this. It is amazing, would recommend this. But I accept the thing, it's $90, but I, I think I think it's a hundred and billion percent worth it because it is a very, it's a really good product. And then this is another being one of my favorite products. I've like almost used it all up. This is the Mario Badescu with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. Water, <laughs> this stuff is really good. I like to use it to spritz on my face and it's really nice. It's it's really cooling and really nice to your skin. I want to get the full size of this because I really do like it. Favorite makeup products because there's only two makeup products I really wear at the moment which is eyebrows and mascara because I the only thing I'm insecure about on my face is the fact I have no eyebrows like it's the only thing about my face I really wish I had but I don't so yeah I use oh, it is the brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills this product I use this every single day this is how I get my like brows because I like the way that it mimics like real hair so my eyebrows are naturally really sparse thin and the hair is really like translucent <laughs> it's I don't have that much hair on my eyebrows they're not and they look like when I don't have any hair on my eyebrows which I'll soon do my eyebrow tutorial so you guys can see my eyebrows but my eyebrows look like they start like here so it makes my nose look a lot wider because they start really far out because it gets dark around here. But the real in, like if you actually look at my eyebrows, my hair starts here. So this is the only product that I found that doesn't make, make it look like I have box brows and makes it look the most natural. And I really, really recommend this for like anybody, especially if you have translucent brows. Very good. And I have it in the color taupe or taupe. Taupe or taupe. I have no clue how to say that. So yeah. Also another one of my favorite products is the Girl Lash Blast Fusion. I like the original but I don't know what about this one. I really like this mascara. All of the beauty favorites I have. What else? I'll tell you guys some of my movies because I've been seeing a few movies this month. First movie. I loved this first movie that I saw this month was Straight Outta Compton. Loved it. It was so good. 10 out of 10. I love it because I'm a fan of MWA and I just thought the way that they executed the movie was really, really good. And I also saw The Visit, which is like that horror movie about old people. I didn't think it was that good. It was. It's not one of my favorites. If I saw that, if I was in the cinemas, I thought, think that I wouldn't have been as, it's not really scary. It wasn't really that scary. It was more like, seriously, because I was in hysterics laughing in the cinema because of certain bits in the movie. So if you're a horror fan, it's a good watch to laugh at, more in my opinion. Music wise, so I've got some of my favorite, my music favorites, if you guys really want to know what type of music I've been loving and vibing and think are amazing. Um, follow me on Spotify. My username's Alice Cutler with a double T. So some of my favorites of this month. Obsessed with R&B and rap music. Like, so those my two favorites. So obsessed with song Zero from Chris Brown. Like, it's so good. I've been liking The Weeknd at the moment. Like, I started out being like, no, I don't like The Weeknd, but I'm actually starting to like his music a lot more. I've been obsessed with R. Kelly song Ignition. Right hand from Drake. That song's on point. I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with Long Live ASAP from ASAP Rocky. The Electric Body from ASAP Rocky and Schoolboy Q. Every day ASAP Rocky. The next episode from Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Cause I know when the hell I'm bling. That can only mean one thing. Notorious Biggie Smalls. Juicy Hypnotize. All of those, no money, no problems. Problem, the rapper problem. I've been obsessed with the song, Take Your Tights Off for the past like two months. It is such a good song. You guys just need to follow me on Spotify because I love music. This is one of my favorites ever. So from the website, Shop Jean is one of my favorite shops to get t-shirts because I have, because one of my obsessions is graphic tees. 
I love graphic tees a lot. Um, this is, I bought this a few months ago, but I feel like it's still on the web. T-shirt is literally one of my favorite things because it's majorly oversized because I got it in a large, but I didn't realize how big an American large is, <laughs> but it's so big. Can you see how big it is on me? It's amazing because I can wear it as a dress. But just telling you, you guys can follow me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Alice Cutler with a double T, or you can just, yeah, I'll just that. And you guys can follow me on Snapchat and just see what I'm doing. Because I usually update it with weird crap all the time. Because I'm obsessed with taking pictures of myself. If you guys want to know when I'm filming or when a video is going up, trust me, if you follow me on Snapchat, you will know because I literally always update it. Yeah. So you guys can follow me on that and also follow me on Tumblr. My Tumblr is alicecutler.tumblr. I'll link everything in the down bar if you want to follow me on anything. And I love you all. See you guys all in my next video. Love you.